Everyone knows. The Eagles are on top, so. Oh, quickly! Get out the way when the train's coming. This is fourth and three. The season on the line. Schreiber! Missed the game of the week. YouTube channel. Yeah, I love it. Thank you, guys. We got a pre-game show. Gage Nutter from Mass Live here. I'm fired up. This is a game I've been looking forward to. I know you have been too. It's the best of the Bay State. It's the best of the Catholic Conference, arguably. So it's for a shot at Gillette. Need them. They were here last year, and it was a different opponent. I'm sure they want to get to it. So this this is it. It's on a turf field. I'm I'm ready to rock. And let's talk about what led to this moment. You know, start with Needham. For the most part, it's a lot of the same guys minus Tate Hoffmeister from last year, which that's obviously a huge minus. But now he's balling out at Trinity. It's a lot of the same dudes, but you'd imagine like if you have such a great year like they did last year, and football season is so long. You can't just say, oh, we'll just kind of roll the ball out and get back to it. You need to really grind these games out. That Central Catholic game, you know, a lot of people may have thought like maybe Central Catholic could have had a chance or, I mean, to kind of upset them, but Needham said, no, we're just going to take care of business. So and it's a lot of the same guys from last year, but that doesn't mean it's ever easy. But they, they solidified themselves with a win late in the regular season against Weymouth. They beat Milton early in the regular season. They beat and everybody they've played, they're undefeated. So it's taken a lot, but they've answered the bell every every single time this year. What makes prep special? They're just so versatile with the way that they do things offensively between Toribio and Quigley carrying the ball. But then you got Graham Roberts blocking up front. You got DeFilippo up front. Just so happened to also have an awesome freshman like Vargas who's throwing the ball really well. And then if he's not doing well, let's bring in Deacon Robillard, who's got so much veteran experience and has led this team to two state championship appearances. And then defensively, I know Coach St. Pierre, he's said this a couple of times this year, where they might not have one guy on defense who's really their guy but they just have a bunch of guys that are going to swarm to the ball and they play team defense and for Needham Aiden is a huge part of them yeah. Talk about Aiden and what makes Aiden special. First of all, going to Lehigh, a great academic kid, just a great kid off the football field. But on the football field, I imagine Coach Cops coach sort of says to him, like, okay, we need you to take direct snaps. Okay, got it. I'll run the ball up the middle. Okay, well, we need you to carry the ball 30 times today. Okay, got it. Clog up A gap, B gap, come off the edge. Got it. Whatever you need him to do, he's going to do it. I, he just keeps going and going as the game goes on and only gets better. So he's he is one of the more special players I've seen uh, this year, and I'm really excited to see exactly how they use him and how he does tonight. And I remember Aiden saying in the preseason, uh, because you know they're in Needham, there's you know there's St. Seb's in town, St. Sebastian's in town, uh, Zavarian's not too far away over in Westwood, and Aiden saying something to the effect of like, you know, we kind of decided in middle school that we were going to do this at Needham High School, and we were going to be Needham Rockets for all four years, and we were going to do what we do, and we're going to do it here. It is interesting, you know, for a school like Needham, just where they are geographically, where you'd imagine you know, a lot of kids, they might be able to hop over to the Zavarian, they might be able to hop over to these other prep schools. But a lot of these kids, they made that decision as middle schoolers that we're going to be here and we're going to do it here as Rockets. This is what they've been waiting for. Call his heads, what did he call? Call his heads. Heads is the call. Yeah. It is the heads. Needham, you won the toss. They won it. You want to defer. Is that still defer. accurate? Yeah. Needham has won the toss. Elected to defer. <laughs> this is our year. Let's go. Let's go. Needham on three. Needham. Drive for Needham. Oh, that
Fourth and nine, Prep's going for it. Vargas taking a shot, Barlow's open. That's fourth down, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Kajunski. Aiden Aiden. Oh. Car. Oh! He's in! He is in! Griffin Car! Wow! Wow! And they got the two! Hey guys, I want to try something new. We're going to take a quick break from the highlights here. Take this time right now and please like the video. Also, please leave a comment, whatever it is, as long as it's nice. Hey, if you don't know what to write, put We Love Recruiting Board. The reason why is likes and comments are great for the engagement. The more YouTube will push the video. Oh, and by the way, most people that watch my videos recently, I've been noticing they aren't subscribed. Shame on you because I'm the top dog in all of New England in terms of football content. So shame on you if you aren't subscribed. Let's jump back to the highlights. Deacon's in there now. Four to three. Jump pass. Aiden gets outside.
nine. Oh, smash. Deacon Robillard, what do you got? It's a counter. They got him. Fourth and three for the prep. This season on the line. Deacon gets to the center. Jimmy Dardone play. Nope, nope. They thought Shriver jumped, but he didn't. This is fourth and three. The season on the line for St. John's Prep. You got the outside. Cuts in, oh! Robillard. Oh, he gets it. Schreiber! Schreiber picks it! Ben Schreiber at the goal line. Wait, you guys going to the fence? Yeah, come on now. Home baby! Do you, really? Yeah! Work isn't done, we know that, we know that, but I'm so damn proud of you. All right, let's soak it up tomorrow now. We got our spirit night. We got not the two, you're freezing. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you out of here, I'll be okay, quick. We got an opportunity to get together and celebrate tomorrow night, okay? Let's make smart decisions this evening. I'm so damn proud of each and every one of you. I've told you this before, I love you guys so darn much. The way you fought, the way you scrapped, your resilience, it's one thing to go up and, and play bully ball like you did in the first half. It's quite another to be resilient, true resilience in that second half. I've never seen a team as tough as this one. Oh, dog, dog. <laughs> the first half was actually like perfect. Still score more in the second. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. We got, it was too close. Right. We, it could have been way better than that. Right. We got to right. keep rolling. Let's go. Good win. You know what I'm going to break it out on. Needham up three, one, two, three. Needham! The winning head coach of the Needham Rockets and an alum himself, Coach Doug Kopsko. You know better than anyone else. I got to ask, how does that one feel? I mean, this probably isn't the best answer, but I don't know if it's set in yet. I'm just so proud of our guys. Come you know, on, this kid. is a group that I, I, I told them after the game, I love each and every one of them. Unbelievably tough team, but they're they're also resilient. They're also for each other all the time. So it just feels good for them right now. And I think it'll set in and I'll be happy later, but I'm just happy for them right now. Our fans are unbelievable. Our community's unbelievable. You know, it was great to see our, our principal here. It was great to see so many of the alumni coming back. Uh, so many guys who contributed along the way. Cliff Kirker, you know, Ben Chapman, all these guys who meant so much to me personally and to our program who helped build this foundation. It's so awesome to see them back here and, and see them supporting this, this next generation of Needham Rockets. You control the game the entire way, Coach. Yeah, I think that's kind of who we are. You know what I mean? I, I think our guys, they like to play a physical brand of football. And I think that's St. John's Prep, too, to, to be clear. Like, they're a great team. They, they got some really great athletes, well-coached, physical guys. But, you know, we like to get physical with other teams, and we like to, to, to make sure that we're playing our game and not try to be something we're not. And I think our guys were very successful in that endeavor in the first half, and, and then they were resilient in the second half. Two quick ones for you. Talk about Shriver's pick, coach. I mean, this kid, he's just so darn instinctive. You know, I'm not even sure that that was necessarily his assignment. He's like, he and Aiden are like supercomputers. You give them a bunch of plays, they'll scan through them and, and they understand where to go. And then during the game, they can make very quick adjustments. He knows where to be and, and then he can seal the, the game with a nice pick there. You know, last question, coach. Obviously, you played here and I don't know how deep Needham's made a run, but what is, again, just talk about this season 
this class specifically? You're going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, we got two coaches on staff and one at the beginning of this year who were at Gillette the last time, and they were uh, juniors that year. And I, I think bringing them back, bringing Coach Brennan back as well, who was one year out from that, when, when I think they had a 9-2 and two record, I, I think it's great to have the, the older generation that was around that Super Bowl era come back with this group that's another Super Bowl team now, you know, dispense some of their wisdom and, and get them to understand that this is the standard and, and our guys have responded to that. Hey! Ben Schreiber here from the Needham Rockets, and he sealed the game clinching interception, boys! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Schreiber, walk me through the play, bro. They were, they needed that score. It would have put them within two, and you stopped them on the goal line. I mean, I was tired as shit. <laughs> I was cramping. I just came off of a cramp, and I, I, I read the play action all the way through, and... Uh, whoever got there gave it to me. But. I mean, look at this community. What does this mean your senior year? Everybody knew this was the year for Needham. I mean, it's meant a lot. We trained 10 years for this, you know. We've been saying this since freshman year. We're happy. And you guys didn't leave, you know. You guys, Charlie could have left, all the guys that could have left, but you stayed. What does it mean to do this for Needham? I mean, it means great, especially beating two private schools in a row. It's better to stay home, what can I say? Talk about this community, Schreiber. All your boys, look at these guys. It's so much better doing it for your hometown. That's all I can say. Hey, Schreiber, you want to shout out your friends and family? Shout out John Doyle. Shout out all the boys here. Yeah. Shout, out, shout out the little bro right there. Little oh, bro, get up oh, here, little bro. Did oh, your brother bow out? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Shout out recruiting boys! Yeah. Aiden, before we even get into the game, what does that mean to you, man? That was, what an emotional one. Look at all these fans, man. Yeah, I know. Like, what does this mean to you? Yeah, I know. I mean, it means everything for the community, for us. I mean, we've been working for this. Got so close last year. It's just great being being able to compete at a high level at a public school. All our guys could have went other places. Everyone decided to stay, do it for the town, and it's just great when it all works out like that. And you guys jumped up to a two-touchdown league. What do you think that did to them? I feel like naturally when, the, when you got the Catholic Conference teams playing public school, it's like sometimes they look down on us a little bit. So that was definitely good for us to kind of punch them in the mouth early. It was definitely good to come out, get that lead, get our confidence up, get energy up, so it's good. Talk about your fans, man. I played. They, I feel like they played a factor. Oh, yeah, no. Everyone showed out in the rain. Everyone's loud the whole time. Sideline was loud. Fans were loud. Every, it was great. It was great. And if you want to talk about Shriver's pick. Oh, that's my God. Good, that's a good player. I mean, he's been, been doing stuff like that all year. <laughs> Most underrated player in the state. He's really just been a dog all year for us, playing both ways. And, I mean, when he got that pick, I was just, that was amazing. And then talk about, you know, what you had mentioned. You guys stayed for Needham. You know, you didn't go away. Yeah. Uh, talk about what that was. Listening. I mean, we knew that we could make special stuff happen here. That's what we did tonight. So, really proud of all the guys. Really proud of all the guys that have just been along for this journey. All of our coaches letting us do this great stuff. So this has been great, great for the town, great for the programs, everything. Going in all offseason, knowing how close we were, when last year we really didn't think we played a perfect game in the Final Four. So great to kind of come back on this, play good, and get back to the Super Bowl, which is where we wanted to be. And obviously guys like Kopsko always credit you, but what is it like playing for Coach Kopsko? Yeah, I mean, he's great. He has a lot of say on the defensive side of the ball, really defensive mastermind, and he just kind of lets us give our input. And that's been really good. Like, he allows us to be a player-led team, and that's what's made us a really great team. It's been great that he's put so much trust in all of our seniors, all of our captains, all of our leaders on our team. And then you made a huge commitment. You're going to Lehigh. This yeah. Time. You got another game, two more games. Actually. Yeah. But uh, talk about what made you make that decision. I built a really good relationship with the staff. They offered me like early in the winter. So just getting to know all those guys, it's been great. They got a big game tomorrow for the Patriot League Championship against Lafayette, which is another good rivalry game. So wishing those guys the best. But definitely a program on the rise in the Patriot League. Just talk about what it's you know is expected. You got Wellesley, but uh -huh. then you know you'll have the winner of tomorrow's game. Yeah. No. I mean we're ready for whoever's coming our way. We're just excited to be able to play another game with the brothers. That's what it is. Shout your friends and family. Yeah. I shout out Prene Guna. <laughs> and shout out my parents. And shout out recruiting board. You know what Drake said? He got redemption. We got some redemption. We want round two. We want. We want X. 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 We want X.